Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah with it being the holy month of Ramadan it's very important for us to remind one another of the importance of making istighfar and if you want to know the easiest dua that you can memorize easy for us all is just say astaghfirullah and this is a way of seeking forgiveness it's a talaba maghfira it's it's seeking forgiveness from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seeking his mercy seeking his grace seeking his favor but seeking his forgiveness to barak wa ta'ala and this was from the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and this is the minhaj of the salaf al-salih ridwan allahi alayhim uh, this was the way of the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala majma'in and they were the Ras of the Salaf. They were the, or they were the Ru'us of the Salaf. They were the leaders and the heads of the Salaf al-Salih. And so, if you want to follow the righteous and the pious and most importantly, the Sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then you want to make istighfar kathir. You want to make lots of uh, seeking forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we make sins <clears throat> constantly. We make sins in the souk. We make sins at work. We make sins when we leave work. We make sins. We have shortcomings in our speech. We have shortcomings in our actions. Uh, we do open and hidden sins. And so we are in need of the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, this was his sunnah. This is what he did. Salawatu, salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi. And if this was his way, then of course we want to follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being forgiven for all of his sins as he said in the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha that shouldn't I be an abdin shakura? Shouldn't I be a grateful slave? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to cry in the depths of the night praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seeking forgiveness until his feet became swollen. What about us? We commit sins, we speak about people, we backbite, we we lie, we do everything uh, open and hidden. And sometimes we, we openly make our sins. We publicize our sins, especially with social media now. Now you can curse people, you can lie, you can cut and paste, you can belittle people who are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ulama, and the students of knowledge. And we can, we seemingly get away with it, but not with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, this is a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُعَذَّبُهُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ فِيهِمْ وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ مُعَذَّبُهُمْ وَهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Anfal, He says, and Allah uh, did not, would not punish them uh, when you are with them, meaning the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, with him being in the presence of the people, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala would not send a, uh, a major torment or, you know, for an example, an earthquake or the mountains crashing down or, or some sort of destruction for the people, even though they had so much shirk uh, in the midst of the Quraysh and, and others and the pagan Arabs. And, but the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was, was amongst them. And then his Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in as they embraced Islam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this ayat and said that he would not punish them as long as the Prophet sallallahu wa was amongst them. And Allah does not punish uh, a people as long as they seek forgiveness. So letting us know that this Tawheed, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, directing our supplications, seeking the forgiveness and favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a way to avert punishment. If you want to avert the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seek forgiveness and be sincere in your seeking forgiveness. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh. Qala Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma kana fihim amanan. A Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa istaghfar. فذهب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وبخي الاستغفار أخرجه ابن جرير وابن أبي حاتم والبيهقي. Listen to this beautiful author of Ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى عنهما who said in relation to the explanation of this verse. 
Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he said, and there used to be amongst them, meaning amongst the people, two trustworthy or, or say, uh, two uh, safety nets, if you will, two things that kept the people safe. He said the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his far, seeking forgiveness. For the Haba, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he died. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa baqi al istighfar. And istighfar remained. Seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remained. And it will remain uh, until the last days. So it's imperative that we seek for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I invite my brothers and sisters and myself to make forgiveness uh, for our many sins and seek forgiveness for, un for one another. And seek forgiveness for the ummah in general. Because when you do that, the malaika seek forgiveness for you. They supplicate for you. You never lose. It is a type of ibadah that, uh, if you want to say, it's like those pyramid schemes. But it's not a scheme. But meaning that it's a, uh, it's a type of, uh, it's a model of forgiveness and a chain forgiveness. So you're seeking forgiveness for your brother and making dua for your brothers and sisters when they're not around, the malaika make it for you. And you are making seeking forgiveness for yourself and the Muslims in general, and Allah will reward you for each one and is granting you forgiveness so you never lose. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.